1921, the War of Independence was raging in Ireland. On one side, you had the IRA, a volunteer guerrilla armed force, and on the other, you had the forces of the British Crown, the Black and Tans, and the Auxiliaries. As many of the police barracks were burned, the Auxiliaries were forced to look for alternative accommodation. On the 4th of February 1921, Summer Hill House was burnt to the ground. The mansion at Summer Hill was magnificently placed on top of a hill. It consisted of a central block and two wings. The mansion was constructed of limestone and it had a very long length. It was considered to be one of the most dramatic of the Irish Palladian houses, designed by Edward Lovett Pierce and Richard Castles. Two of the ceilings were attributed to the La Francini brothers. On the Kilcock entrance, there, is a pair of, there was a pair of eccentrically designed gate lodges. They were called the balloon houses. In the 19th century, the Empress of Austria rented Summerhill House while she was hunting in Ireland. The fourth Baron Hercules died in 1919 and was buried in our cemetery. He lost his son and heir in the First World War and his second son was mentally unstable. His brother William Chamber took charge of the estate during his last year, years and after his death William became the sixth Baron when his nephew died in 1922. Sean Boylan said he had received a message from Michael Collins that the auxiliaries were going to occupy Summerhill House. Boylan gave the orders for the house to be burnt down immediately. The servants uh, who lived in the house were sitting together in the kitchen when they heard a knock on the back door. The English butler did not open the door and some minutes later a whistle was blown and the back door battered in. The servants escaped through a door into the basement and made their way out into the darkness. As they walked down the avenue, the house was doused in petrol and the fire started in a number of places. One of the IRA raiders said that chicken was on the menu that night and 36 chickens were ready for roasting for the auxiliaries. The house was reduced to a mass of blackened ruins with a complete loss of its contents. In 1922, Colonel Rowley sought compensation from the Irish Free State in order to uh, rebuild the building, but he only got one third of the value of the house, so he invested his money in stocks and moved to England. The Colonel did consult with his New Zealand relatives about the possibility of rebuilding the house and maintaining a presence there, but no one was overly anxious to live in Ireland. The cut stone from the house was sold off in 1957 and the remains were bulldozed into the ground in the early 1970s. Some of the stones from the ruins were used in Dalgan Park to construct a loggia. If Summerhill House had survived, what a tourist attraction and employment potential it would offer today. Today the domain is private property, but the gates, the domain wall and the tree-lined avenue form a focal point for the pretty village of Summerhill.